Today, we're gonna talk about how to keep your team motivated. Hey everybody, it's me Henry and welcome to my channel. And if you're new here, please consider to hit the subscribe button and turn on all the notifications so that you're not gonna miss out any video just like this from this channel. And today, I'm gonna share with you the tips how to keep your team motivated. Like people say, if you want to run fast, you may just go alone, be the solo hero. But if you want to achieve a bigger picture, you want to go far, you need a team. Have you ever wondered why Google, why Amazon, Facebook, they are so successful? They were at one point started from a small group and until today be so successful. Why? Why is that they are so successful until today? It's just because they have a strong team. But keep in mind that strong team, it doesn't come by itself. It is the leader's attraction to attract the strong people, the strong team, they come to you and to form a strong team to contribute their value to the bigger picture. The great leaders did know how to lead a team in the more effective ways. One of it, motivation. But motivation, it is not all about shouting, yes, you can make it, yes, you can make it, and then your team members, they can grow by themselves. It doesn't really happen in that way. But of course, that kind of motivation, it is part of it to achieve a better result. But in this video, I'm gonna share with you the tips, which is more towards to management. So you gotta make sure you watch until the end of this video and to grab wow. all of this information and apply to your team and to achieve a better result. And tip number one, as a leader, you gotta share your vision to your team members to let them know what is our main goal? What is the organization's goal? In the end, we're gonna achieve it. The direction. And each and every one of your team members, they are equally important as part of the project. If the project success, it means your team is success. One of the examples, SpaceX, led by Elon Musk. When every one of them saw that the rocket back to earth and successfully landed. Every one of them were crying, hugging each other. You see, you can see this is the team success together. This is what we call, it is a team success. They feel motivated. They want to contribute more. They want to achieve their final goal. But first, it is because of Elon Musk as a leader. He shared the vision to the team members, to all the employees, Together, we are going to achieve this result. And tip number two, short and frequent meeting. This is important. Compared to the long meeting and everybody get exhausted, get bored, in the end, this is not effective at all. Dragging too long. And instead of long meeting, why don't we just make it as the short and frequent? And then all of the team members, they can stay connected to each other. They're aware, their responsibility, their value. They feel motivated, they want to continue to contribute to the team together. And with this short and frequent meeting, the leader together with the team members they are stay connected together to share the ideas to share their thoughts how to overcome on the certain challenges so the teams they can keep motivated and to contribute more you know from the research now let's compare two teams and team A the leader and the team members they have short and frequent meeting meaning to say they keep connected they keep sharing their thoughts their ideas on how to overcome on a certain challenge motivate each other together to achieve a better result. Compare with Team B, lack of communication, lack of motivation. The leader and the team members, they seldom communicate. So in the end, Team A can perform well because they have the progress through the communication, motivation, solving the problem. And that's the reason why they can achieve more. They can achieve a better result. And tip number three, one-on-one. -on -one. This is important because to some people, they're not there to measure their thoughts or their individual problem or certain challenges in their life. 
So if you can have one-on-one -on -one with your team member, I mean, key team member, if you are the manager, you're not gonna meet a thousands of people for one-on-one, -on -one, only to your direct key team members. And then only you know what are the obstacles or what are the challenge they can overcome with your experience, with your advice to, to your team member and help them to overcome and praise them. If they are doing well, praise them genuinely. And don't be fake if you want to praise your employee. For example, if your employee is writing and you as a boss, when you walk by, whoa, you are writing, good job, man. Huh? So this is weird. This is so fake. Be genuine. This is a real praise. To employee so they'll feel motivated wow my leader just praise me i'm doing this right i feel motivated i want to keep going i want to keep doing more the right thing because my leader is going to give the opportunity to me for doing more to contribute more to the organization i feel motivated and tip number four understand the behavior it means as a leader you need to take the extra step to understand your team members working lifestyle or their behavior or your employees behavior this is important because to some employees or team members they love to fight they love to compare with their colleagues if my colleagues is doing 30,000 of the sales I want to make 40 and and when I achieve 40 and my colleagues, they want to make 50 and I want to make 70 and we keep compare and fight to each other. Now, I would say this is a healthy competition. It is a win-win situation. It's going to motivate your employee or your sales team to fight for more. And at the same time, it can generate more figure to the company. And if you find out some of your employees or team members, they don't enjoy fighting or competition, you may recognize them if they are doing something good such as putting them in the bulletin to recognize them thanks to certain member or the employee for their contribution for their value and they will instantly feel motivated feeling appreciated by my leader so i'm doing a writing and i want to continue to do more of this kind of the writing i feel motivated and tip number five development opportunities as a leader i don't think you want to see your employee they need to be triggered like a machine when i kick then only they move when i say a they do a when i say b then only they would do b i don't think you want to see this happen to your team members as a leader they want to see their team members they are self-driven they are motivated. They want to contribute more. And all of us, we are at the same page together to fight for the future, to achieve the goal. So we call this as progress. You see, when your team member or your employees, when they know they are doing the right thing, they improve, they see the progress, they will want more. Take it for example, if a young engineer after the graduation, after five years, senior, another five years, become a manager, another five years, higher ground. So when they look back the past 10 years, 15 years, the progress, the improvement, the achievement, and up to today with the right pay, the right environment, and most importantly, the right leader, they feel successful, they feel satisfaction they feel motivated with such a good leader good company and they were loyal to the company as well so it's all about the progress is you as a leader give enough development opportunities to your employee or not if they have the development opportunities they will feel motivated and they will contribute more they want to achieve more they want to stay together with the company with the team they are part of the project they are part of the game they will together they want to achieve the final goal same page as you as a leader so in the end in this way as a leader you're not just to achieve the motivation in the end you achieve more as a leader your employees or your team members they'll feel the company is not just a company 
it is a home to them. They feel motivated and they're loyal to the company, to the team. They will stick together with the team. So all of those are the five tips on how to keep your team motivated. I hope that you can take all of those tips as a reference and apply to your career or your team. If you find values and learn something from this video, you gotta smash the subscribe button and turn on all the notifications so that you're not gonna miss out any videos just like this from this channel. And most importantly, leave your comments below. Let me know what you think and I would love to reply to your comment and read your comment and I hope to see you in the next video.